things first, I just want to apologize for the pretty late upload. I've been doing some other stuff lately. Yeah. Uh, anyways, second thing, my store is officially up and running. Uh, the link will be down in the description. I got all my stock in. I got all the micro jets up there. We got the F-35, the TX, the Eurofighter, the F-16, and the Su-27, along with all the electronics you'll need to build these and make them fly. I also got a whole section on who I am, what I do, why I started the company, uh, along with a creator content submission form. If you want to be on the website and get your name out there, that's the way to do it. You can enter there. So the link will be down in the description of the website. Go take a look, tell me what you think, and give me any feedback. If you think I could change something or improve, I'd love to hear it from you guys. All right, now let's get to the video. So a lot of you might remember this. This is the uh, Microjet Series F-35. I designed it to be a great front yard, backyard RC jet. Uh, flew really good, surprisingly. So I had a project for school to make a chuck glider and get the furthest distance. So I already had this designed. So I took this and I blew it up 500%. And I already got an A on the project. So now let's mess around with it, make it RC. So to build, I'm going to remove the steel plate which I used for nose weight when it was a chuck glider. And then I'm just going to cut off this old nose that, since it's broken and I'm just going to cut a new one and replace it. That's going to give us a nice sleek and clean look. Now I grab some electronics. Uh, I got two 2300 kV brushless motors set up on two separate ESCs. So now let's just make some motor pods and uh, get everything glued on. So the first step is to make a motor mount. So I'm gonna be making two of these. I'm using eighth inch hobby grade plywood. So now that we got that square cut out, we can drill some holes in it and screw the motor onto it. All right, now that that's done, we can cut out some motor pods. Uh, I'm just gonna use a simple technique to make a box, just a bunch of A-folds, and then I'll glue the motor mount to one side and trim as needed. I'll do that twice. And the best place I thought to put them was in the front of the intakes because then all the air going over that will go over the wing and create as much lift as possible. And they'll also be fairly hidden considering how sharp the intake looks. Now I'm just gonna cut out the elevons. And since it's a really big control surface, I'm gonna use two nine gram servos to provide twice as much torque and power. And that should hold up pretty good. Now that those are all glued on, I'm just gonna hook up a Y harness so that they move in the same direction with each other. And then I just did that on the opposite side as well. So let's test the battery and see what happens. I don't know if you can tell or not, but that's snow. Let's see if we can get the focus. And it's coming down pretty hard and fast. Uh, also, the wind's probably gusting around 20. So um, let's head out and see what happens. I got the plane in the trunk, and I don't care about the wind. We'll go see if we can make it work. Yeah, the weather's bad, but we're still going to go fly. Because why not? 
Well, the snow slowed down a little bit, so let's go see if we can fly this thing now. t-shirts go buy a t-shirt we have it in blue gray and green pretty cool right, right now we can walk <laughs> ah. so i got two motors on the front here uh 2207 1300 kv so they are sorry 2300 kv um and then two servos on each elevon so it might work. I don't know. We'll see. I'm getting tired. This thing's heavy. So we're running a 2200 3S. Uh, that'll give us a decent amount of power. <laughs> Both work. Okay. So we're also fighting with a tail. But I guess we'll just see. building this I programmed differential thrust into it so like you could spool up one motor more than the other to kind of use it as yaw so but then I uh, kind of abandoned it after it didn't really work but since then I replaced the ESC so I might have a better chance trying it but maybe we'll go back and do that I do think I need to put rudder on it because it's, it's doing some weird tendencies but now the good news is we can launch into the wind this way. Yeah, see the rudder, there's like rudder input to where it only kind of wants to go that way. Because right when I try to go the opposite way, oh, it doesn't even like that. Right when I try to go the opposite way, it doesn't it doesn't like that. It's windy. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and add rudder. Into the wind. <laughs> Hovercraft! <laughs> Seconds later. At the field. All right. So, what I added is this thing called differential thrust, which is basically when you spin up the motors, you use rudder. One or the other speeds up. So when I give rudder input that way, that motor goes on. 
rotor input this way, this motor goes on. So it, it kind of shifts it. But we're gonna see if that actually helps or maybe it'll make things worse. sucks at flying, just build the micro one. Don't try to make it bigger. The micro flies nice. Let's work out. Well, it fell. All that really good throwing. It it's worked. still in one piece except for the nose, but that's okay. Okay. I hate this thing so much. If you're willing to pay shipping, I will send this to you without the electronics. But I will send you this 500% micro jet Syria 35. I don't want it in my house. <laughs> Wait, I actually record this because this is going straight. Oh, ground. I've been recording my threat and all. Dude, that ain't that fantastic. Gorgeous. Oh, there's the problem. <laughs> Finish him. I'm so serious. I think once this flew off, it flew better. Uh huh. Forward nose weight. Yeah. That's one way to solve it. Look at that. It's a half and half now. Your yeah. transmitter doesn't like it when it's cold out. Neither does your mother. Look at that. Look at all the lag. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can go. All right. Thank you for venturing out and doing this with me. Uh, it was absolutely stupid. Um, I guess this thing is much happier when it's the smaller scale. But if any of you want to go out and try this, and make sure you tag me on Instagram, do whatever. I want to see how you can make it much better. Um, and on that note, I'll see you later. Let me know down in the comments if there's any other of my micro jets you'd like to see blown up. They might fly a little bit better than this one. Um, and if you want to purchase the micro jet speed build kit or any of the electronics for them, 
uh, they're all going to be linked down in the description for my store. So all the links said will be down there. So go check everything out. Thanks for watching.